Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and today I want to work on the Perdition Legend Difficulty Lost Sector Guide. This is for Season of the Chosen, and uh, a couple pieces we've got to look at here. Hello, Tokigi. Uh, we've got extra shields, match game, locked equipment, that stuff is always there. We've got barrier and overload champions, I'll cover those in a second. Arc and aerial damage taken is increased, so keep your feet on the ground, and arc damage is even more increased, so arc damage is going to hurt. Shocking. So a couple things we've got are definitely going to be Void Shields. You've got a few of those on Minotaur, so you need some way to kill those. I'm just going to use a rocket launch or a grenade launcher for this one. You can honestly use a rocket launcher. Any of these will work. I was even messing around with Black Talon, also a pretty viable option. So trust me, this is not a bad thing with the projectile. And you can actually throw Overlawn on as well. I'll cover that in a second. So a lot of options for a little bit of Void damage. The main shields you're going to have in this entire thing are Arc. Harpies, and they're all over the place. So your energy weapon needs to be arc and probably needs to be a primary because you're gonna have to fire this thing a lot. One to break the shield, one to, one to um, shoot it. Now, you could go this way. You could go Eternal Blazon. This is the new scout rifle I've seen it drop in strikes. We've got one couple from the gunsmith. Um, this is an arsenic bite. You probably have one of these floating around. Whatever you use for your energy weapon, probably going to be a good idea to make sure that this is going to be arc. Uh, finally, I'm using a sniper rifle for my kin uh, special and kinetic just because I'm going to use this for my barrier weapon because there's really only a couple barrier items. Sniper rifle is good for a little bit of burst damage as you go from range. Your other option, of course, would be a scout rifle, but then you're sitting at two ranged primaries. Not a lot of greatness there, but you could eventually peck your way through this thing. Uh, main pieces, you are going to want your mods. Overload, uh, whatever you're going to be getting that on, and snipe and barrier, whatever you're going to have that on. Now, your options, overload go comes on bows and SMGs, which means, Theodric, you actually could run Risk Runner as your overload option, and that actually could be a really fun thing to use between the chain lightning um, and then the fact that you've also got overload on it to cover for those... Um, Champions, I can't talk. The only thing about SMGs and Overload that is my issue is you need un uninterrupted fire from your SMGs, grant bullets that stun combatants. So you have to be like continuously firing it before you get the Overload bullets, then you can do it. It's just not always the most reliable. The nice thing about the bow is just a fully drawn shot, doesn't even have to be ADS, will stun them. So it's just much, much easier. Now you do have a couple other options. You have Disrupting Blade, as I said, you could pull out Black Talon. Use that for your void shields. There's a couple minotaurs you got to break, but that could totally also be your overload option. Hit them once or hitting a couple shots real quick and you, you got to be, you'll be good to go. Back up to that could be grenades as well. So you do have arc grenades specifically. So you've got a couple options. Arc grenades are nice for range. And then if I want to keep hitting them, I can use my bow. So you've got a couple options. Definitely mix up what you need here. Um, overall, I'm just going with this loadout. But you could do this this Lost Sector specifically about six different ways. Let's load in. I'll show you guys how it works. All right, so first thing you do when you load in, you're going to have one Harpy or one Hydra mo moseying around. The main thing is you're going to have a lot of these Harpies first. So start with these. Try and find your Hydra. Now, once you can find the Hydra, the nice thing about the Sniper and Barrier, I can just shoot straight through his shield, put enough damage in him to kind of push him to the back of the room so he's not sitting here wailing on me for a while. But still being up top will help. And again, once he turns around, if I actually reload, I can get a few more shots before he teleports away. At some point he will, probably about there. So when I finally see him in the next phase up the stairs, he's not gonna have too much health left. I'm gonna push up here, grab a little bit of ammo. You're gonna see some ads spawn, so I'm gonna push back. You're gonna see the void, uh, the void oh, Minotaur. He's gonna be roaming around, so eventually if you're hanging back here, he'll eventually push up on you. That's why I kinda hang back here to let him do his thing. Once he spots you, he'll do that. So watch the snipers in the back. You do have a couple hobgoblins back there. So again, he, you could probably even kill him that way. Almost dead. And that was not so hard. Overlord Minotaur in the back. That's how easy it is to stun an Overlord Champion with a bow. You sit there and keep shooting him. Now, he is totally going to charge you. Don't think that's going to be an easy thing. But it's also really easy to stun him. And you want to keep that damage on him. 
and maybe you might die. It's not the end of the world. Also, another reason why the um, another reason why the sword's actually not a bad option, but the grenade is nice for a backup. So it's nice to actually start with the grenade, get that damage ticking, then go dump your grenade launcher, rockets, or swords, whatever. As the grenade continues to do its damage, that combination is usually going to get the health lower. And again, this is for 1300. Master is a completely different option, so keep that in mind. This guy, usually right above you somewhere. And again, if you die in these things at first, it's not a big deal. And if you die a lot, well, practice and come back. Now, the nice thing about a bow, if you can actually hit the crit spots, which on goblins, I swear, is impossible. But if you do hit the crit, and then I start tacking up the rampage here. So I've got another one coming. This one's going to be... Same situation here. That time to have to reload. Try and keep that damage on him. Stagger him again. Have to finish him up. Do not forget about your finishers on the champions. They will save you ammo. Lots of it, actually. Got the fanatic chain up the stairs. Wish I could get some ammo, though. Now, probably my least liked guy is a wyvern, because I cannot crit him. But they're big, so you have to put a lot of damage in. It's not like a shank where, like, one shot's going to kill him. I have to put a lot of damage in just to open up the crit spot. This guy's over here in timeout for some reason. I'm going to try and grab my ammo and run. Back down the stairs. Got some ammo. Going to reload this thing. So in the event if the wyvern does get close, I'll be a little bit okay. Barrier's up there on the stairs. This guy's going to go down quick. Gonna whip. There we go. There might be one more void shield, but that's really all the shields you're ever going to see. It's the minotaurs. They're the shields. And that's why the barrier sniper is actually really effective on that guy. But the wyvern. Oh, the wyvern. Don't even get me started on those. Take out most of the little guys first. Now, as soon as you do enough damage, you will actually get that guy to proc his shield. So, as soon as you usually get close to the edge of that first health chunk, you actually see that happen. So, make sure your sniper is reloaded, because you are going to be trying to proc it that way. If you want to push up a little bit, you can. Watch out for the wyvern, though. They may come in the next phase. As soon as he goes, tag it. And then if you can just try and dump the damage in. And then just keep the shots going. Even if you die going for one like this, I've got the time, and that's okay. I got one of the champions down, completely fine. Now, is this a flawless run? No, if you're going for a flawless, it's going to be very different. But if you're just trying to finish it, sometimes getting that finisher on that champion could completely be worth it. I'm only five minutes in, still got four reds to go over here. So this is where these guys get to be a little annoying. Now, you can take your heavy, arc a couple shots in, Basically, you're trying to hit him enough to open the front. Crit spot right here. When you can finally do that, they go down a little better, but man, they take a lot of health otherwise. And again, just sit back here. You got a ranged weapon. Pick them off slowly but slowly. Slowly but slowly is not a real phrase, but you know, you guys get the idea. Hit him enough until he actually staggers, and then eventually at some point, he will show that crit spot. If he does, you can pull out the sniper. If he doesn't, well, throw a grenade at his feet and kill him as he walks around the corner and be ready with a grenade launcher. So, one way or another, he will go down. Check your ammo, check your reloads. Not too bad. Got some heavy over there. You can have one more barrier up at the top over here on the left, along with probably one or two more straggler goblins. Thanks for being right on cue, buddy. So, now you get to go find your barrier. He's tucked over there. So I can throw a grenade just to clear out a couple of those guys. Now, that may be enough damage for him to actually go stagger, but maybe not. He's probably going to do it literally any second. There he goes. And that's an unfortunate time to have to reload. Well, going to switch over, grab some heavy. Throw a grenade on him first. Have that not made up. Watch the stairs. These are good to have, but... Now, I'll get the switch. And doing on a sniper is beneficial there. And then, of course, watch the barrier shot. It goes again. Be ready. As soon as he goes to dunk. 
There we go. And he's down. Everything else is pretty smooth sailing on the way out. So grab any ammo you got. Hang back up the stairs. We'll slowly be working stuff down. First is going to be the boss and a few light adds. You don't have any more champions because this is not master difficulty. Master, you'll have a couple more barriers on the sides. Um, this one, really not bad. So we got the harpies. Again, this arc primary is basically required in here. No question about that. Boss might get parked back there if he is. Gets where you can barely see him. Put a couple sniper shots in him if you get the opportunity. He might wiggle around. He's just going to do that. So from here, you can try and chunk a grenade in the back of the room. You can get some damage on him. If you creep up, he will creep up too, so keep that in mind. And as you da do damage through phases of his health, he's also going to spawn more ads. Now again, these are not high concern ads. There's a couple hobgoblins. Fritz will take those guys out fairly quickly. But as he gets lower on health, he will push up a little bit more. So keep that in mind as well. Hitting him for like 8k right now. Not bad. Again, health going down. Another wave of ads. There's that other hobgoblin who went high in the back. Most are just goblins and harpies. Easy ads. Easy ads. Out of the reloads today, apparently. And the grenade throws. There we go. He's down. So don't run to the chest. Just make sure all the ads are down. But the champions should all be down at this point. Shouldn't be anything much else to hurt you. Gotta go down. You should be good. So, eight minute wrap. Open it up. See if you get anything good. I did not, but on a previous run, I actually got... Uh, Another copy of the Curious of the Falling. Again, we are getting chests. This is for February 18th. So again, chest armor today. Good drop if you're trying to get some of those new exotics. Let's wrap this thing up and I'll talk to you guys at the top. Well, that pretty much wraps it up on the Perdition Lost Sector Guide. So as you can see, the main issue is going to be those, ar those harpies and the arc shields. Got to manage those. You're going to have some barrier champions both in the end... Uh, you're going to have that pair, and then you're going to have the overload pair of champions in the middle. As long as you got some way to manage all of those, take it slow, pull back when you need to. Again, it's not that long. So, take it slow. If you die, it's not the end of the world, as you guys can see. Just don't die a lot. And if one loadout doesn't work for you, maybe you're missing with the grenade launchers, or you feel like you're not getting enough damage in. Believe me, the other alternatives are definitely there. If you want a lot of damage for an overload champion because those are the harder ones, and maybe like you want to stagger a barrier champion and push on him, a sword is really good, actually. Um, Black Talon being void will help with the void damage that you need, so you're covered there. And you've got a projectile that you can stagger an overload champion with. Like Now, the projectile may miss because obviously those overload champions do a little bit of warping, but if you hit them with that or... Stagger them with the bow just to be safe and then pop them with like, and this is an old exotic. I assume a lot of people actually have this one. Hit them with the bow and as you're running up to do the damage, then hit the like projectile and then start swinging when you get there. I, I literally ran through and did that earlier. So you've got a couple options. Um, Black Talon is nice for the damage. You could throw the projectile also at range to the wyvern and be able to do a chunk of damage as well. Sniper is optional. You could totally go scout. Again, Risk Runner could be a viable, like, amazing option. There's a lot of ways to run this Lost Sector. So I hope this guide helps all of you. If it did, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you have a build out, a build out, loadout that you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and alert bell. You guys will know about new videos if I live stream on YouTube. I also live stream over on twitch.tv slash and then you'll find me on Twitter for news, updates, podcast info, all that fun stuff. Stream scheduled this week with snow has been crazy, but we'll get back to normal next week. Thank you all very much. I'll see you in the next one.